South Louisiana Quiz Bowl Online is made possible by the generous support of these sponsors. Lapco Manufacturing, Modern Industrial Workwear. Barker Honda, Martin Luther King Boulevard in Homa. It's better at Barker. Homa Paint and Industrial Supply, proud supporter of education in the Bayou region. Hello and thanks for joining us again for South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. We're in the first round of our varsity tournament today. Patterson High School here taking on Hanson Memorial School. Good luck to both teams. We're going to start off with a rapid fire round in which I'm going to ask you to identify some famous James, Jimmies, and Jims. Make sure you give me the first name, please. Good luck. It's a short crowbar with curved ends or a 1990 General Motors SUV. That is a Jimmy. He runs away with Huckleberry Finn. That's Jim. He made his first appearance in Casino Royale and later on in Die Another Day. Keegan. Ke Ke James. James? James who? Father. Correct. In 1976, he was the first president to use his nickname on the ballot. Nathan. Jimmy Carter. That's right. He won the decathlon and the pentathlon in the 1912 Olympics. That was Jim Thorpe. In the 2001 animated movie, he's a boy genius. Amelia. Jimmy Neutron. That's right. His real name was James Buchanan Brady. He was famous for his jewelry. That was Diamond Jim Brady. It, and that's the end of the round. All right, let's take a moment, let the players identify themselves, introduce themselves. We'll start with Patterson. Uh, I'm Connor. I'm in Quiz Bowl. I'm in Band and 4-H, and I like to bake. Uh, I'm Amy. Aside from Quiz Bowl, I like to do marching band, um, bake, and I like to paint. I'm Keegan. Aside from, mar aside from Quiz Bowl, I do marching band, MMA, and I cook. Uh, I'm Zach Bella. Uh, besides from Quiz Bowl, uh, I aspire to be a professional chef when I get older. Everybody's interested in cooking here. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> different. Amy's the team captain. Tell us about Patterson. So, Patterson High School is located in St. Mary Parish. At PHS, we work, to, we work to instill compassion, honesty, optimism, and pride in all of our students. We provide a variety of clubs like band, 4-H, student council, key club, and art club, as well as our, all of our athletic teams. We would like to thank our sponsors, Mr. Cardenas and Ms. Rowe, as well as our principal, Ms. Vaccarella, and the staff and, and management and the sponsors of this program for allowing us the opportunity to compete in this high school quiz bowl meet. Thank you, Amy. Thank you to the faculty sponsors, Mr. Michael Cardenas and Mr. Ann Rowe. Let's welcome back Patterson High School. <laughs> Speak to players for Hanson now. I'm Emily, and other than Quiz Bowl, I play volleyball, and I'm a football stat. I'm Nathan, and other than Quiz Bowl, I do football. I'm Maddie, and other than Quiz Bowl, I'm on the student council and beta club. I'm Amelia, and other than student council, I'm in cheer and volleyball. All right, Nathan is the team captain. Tell us about Hanson. Hanson Memorial High School is a Roman Catholic school dedicated to academic excellence and the formation of a Christ-centered individual. Equipped to use the gifts of soul, mind, and body in positive contributions to church, family, and society. Thank you, Nathan. Thanks to the faculty sponsor, Mr. Jared Segura. Let's welcome back Hanson Memorial School. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the game. It's the toss-up bonus round. Starts with a two-point toss-up. The statutory members of the National Security Council include the president, vice president, and the heads of what two cabinet departments? Anyone? That's the Secretaries of State and Defense. Two-point toss-up. What character does Herman Melville describe as a four-topman? Anyone? That is Billy Budd. Two-point toss-up. Identify the Germanic tribe which invaded the Roman province of Britannia in the fifth century and eventually gave its name to the language used throughout the land. Nathan. The angles. That's correct. Bonus goes to Hanson. Let's talk about hats. When this cowboy hat first came out, it cost almost a month's wages to buy. It was made by John B. Who? It's a bonus for Hanson. Hey, 
Second, sir. Right. Patterson. Rockefeller. Captain. Oh, Rockefeller. Uh, no, it's Stetson. John D. Stetson. Hanson, if you make hats, you are most properly called a what? A hatter. Captain, is that your answer? A hatter? No, it's incorrect. Patterson. <laughs> Pass. It's called a milliner. Hanson, the, <coughs> the most commonly worn hat in the world today is made of what? Polyester. That's incorrect. Patterson. Cotton. No, it's made of bamboo in Asia. No points for that one. All right, two point toss up. In 1803, what foreign leader began his war with England? 1803. Maddie. Napoleon. That's correct. Bonus for Hanson. I want you to name the states where you'll find these national forests. Kebab, Tonto, and Prescott. Mm. Tennessee. That's incorrect. Patterson. California? No, they're in Arizona. Uh, Pat, excuse me, Hanson. Apalachicola, Ocala, and Osceola. Tennessee? That's incorrect. Pat. Could you repeat the question? Uh, Apalachicola, Ocala, and Osceola. Pass. That's Florida. Hanson, San Juan, Roosevelt, and White River. New Mexico? That's incorrect. Patterson. Mississippi. Oh, those are all in Colorado. No points. Here's a two point toss up, might need your pens here. Mr. Perot had 1,000 more than three times the number of marbles possessed by Mr. Quayle. Together, they had exactly 29,000 marbles. How many marbles did Mr. Perot have? I'm sorry, I'm going to stop Patterson. You can't work together on this. You're on your own, Hanson. Anyone? Sorry, I'll stop. No, sorry. It conferred. You can't talk to each other on these. The correct answer is 22,000. Yeah, you spoke to him. <laughs> Two point toss up. The following is from a British mystery. I want you to identify the speaker. Now is the dramatic moment of fate, Watson, when you hear a step upon the stair which is walking into your life, and you know not whether for good or ill. Name the speaker. Can anyone answer this? You can bring in an answer, yeah. Sherlock Holmes. That's correct. Bonus question for Hanson. <coughs> Each of these words begins with M-I-S, the letters M-I-S, a minor legal infraction. Misdemeanor? That's correct. Made up of a variety of parts. Miscellaneous? That's correct. A villain or depraved person. Pass. Patterson. Mischievous? I uh, know it's a miscreant. Four points for Hanson on that. And we'll go to a two point toss up. Whose presidential library is in Independence, Missouri? Anyone? That is Harry S. Truman. Two point toss up. One of the most influential American jazz pianists was Thelonious who? Thelonious? Anyone? Thelonious Monk. Two point toss up. In what satirical what satirical tale by Edgar Allan Poe is Toby Dammit particularly fond of this expression? I'll bet the devil my head. And that is never bet the devil your head. Two points also. This stanza is about a city in what country? Across the plain, beneath the wind, black my pony, red the moon, Death stands and watches as I come. Watches from the towers of Cordoba. Name the country. Anyone? 
Nathan. Spain. It is Spain. Bonus question for Hanson. I want you to fill in the blanks here. You can go to an auto supply house and get replacement windshield wiper blades partly because of blank parts, a concept associated with Eli Whitney. Spare. Spare. That's incorrect. Patterson? Replacement? No, interchangeable parts. Hanson, for common stock or precious metals, the market blank and the face blank may be different, although the word in the blank is the same. Book? That's incorrect. Patterson. Value. Value is what we're looking for. Hanson from Thomas Jefferson. The tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of blank and tyrants. Patriots. That's correct. Two points for each team, and that's the end of the round. Let's take Welcome back to Quiz Bowl. Hanson leading Patterson as we continue on. Quick series of two-point toss-ups for you here. What kind of shoreline results from a rise in land surface elevation relative to sea level? It's called an emerging coastline. What natural black glass was used by prehistoric peoples to fashion arrowheads? Keegan. Obsidian. That's correct. Just over a half century ago, an Asian broadleaf plant with a thick stem was planted in the south. Today, that vine lies across 7 million acres in 12 states blanketing trees, utility poles, buildings, and old cars. Name this vine. Patterson, I'm gonna stop you. Can't, can't confer here. Hanson, anyone? It is Kudzu. If you travel to the western end of the border between Missouri and Arkansas, and then take one more giant step to the west, you would be in what state? Nathan. Oklahoma. That's right. Most states' funding goes to assistance for the needy, public health, and what other service? Education. Maddie. That's right. What Chinese philosopher of the 5th century BC is noted for simple life lessons like do unto others what you wish to do unto yourself? Nathan. Confucius. That's right. Who was Chancellor of England from 1155 to 1162 and Archbishop of Canterbury from 1162 to 1170 during the reign of King Henry II? Hanson, uh, uh, Nathan. Thomas More. Uh, incorrect. Patterson. It was Thomas Beckett. And that's the end of the round. Hanson still leads as we come to our 62nd rounds. Patterson, you've got first choice of categories. You can have character, face the music, hearts, or math. Character. Character, okay. To identify some characters here. Good luck. He shot an arrow at an apple placed on his son's head. Pass. He won an archery contest by splitting the shaft of an arrow. Pass. His aunt gave him the task of whitewashing a fence. He was surprised when he saw a man's naked footprint on the beach. Pass. They made a brew composed of eye of newt and toe of frog. No. He said, I wear the chain I forged in life. Yes. Have an answer? Okay, no points for that. Hanson, here they come. He shot an arrow at an apple placed on his son's head. Answer? Johnny Appleseed? Uh, no, William Tell. He won an archery contest by splitting the shaft of an arrow. Pass. Answer? That's Robin Hood. His aunt gave him the task of whitewashing a fence. Tom Sawyer? That's right. He was surprised when he saw a man's naked footprint on the beach. Pass. That's Robinson Crusoe. They made a brew composed of eye of newt and toe of frog. Sanderson sisters? Uh, no, the witches in Macbeth. He said, I wear the chain I forged in life. Marley? That's correct. We got two right for four points. 
and enhancing your choice now. Face the music, hearts, or math. Face the music. Face the music. Face the music. <coughs> Here are some musical questions for you. Good luck. What instrument does the concert master of a symphony orchestra play? Violin. That's right. What is the general class of instruments to which the double bass, viola, cello, and violin belong? Strings. That's right. Which part of a stringed instrument is used for tuning? The forks, pegs, fingerboard, or bridge? Pegs. That's right. The sound of a violin is produced by drawing what object across the strings? A bow. That's right. Of saxophone, bassoon, flute, and trombone, which one is seldom found in a symphony orchestra? Saxophone. That's right. An English horn is a lower pitch version of what instrument? Trumpet. No. What kind of reed does an oboe player use? Single, double, triple, or straight edged? Double. Correct. This small reed instrument is sometimes referred to as a mouth organ. What's it called? Piccolo. That's incorrect. You got six right for 12 points. Give the others to Patterson. An English horn is a lower pitch version of what instrument? French horn? Uh, no, an oboe. This small reed instrument is sometimes referred to as a mouth organ. What's it called? Bassoon? No, it's a harmonica. Four points for that. All right, let's take another break. We'll be right back with more South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. South Louisiana Quiz Bowl Online is made possible by the generous support of these sponsors. Lapco Manufacturing, Modern Industrial Workwear. Barker Honda, Martin Luther King Boulevard in Homa. It's better at Barker. Homa Paint and Industrial Supply, proud supporter of education in the Bayou region. Welcome back to South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. Hanson still in the leaves. We come to our final round. It's two-point toss-ups. Good luck. Drugs that interfere with neural transmissions, such as curare, cause a loss of muscle, muscle function called what? Uh, Emily. Narcotics. Uh, incorrect. Patterson? It is paralysis. Name the special wheeled beds or stretchers used in hospitals for transporting patients. That's a gurney. What American colonial printer said this? The liberty of the press is a subject of the greatest importance in which every individual is as much concerned as he is in any other part of liberty. Thomas, Thomas Paine? That's incorrect. Patterson. It is John Peter Zenger. Geneticists studying the DNA and mitochondria claim to have traced the entire human family tree back to a single woman they named what? They called her Eve. Mitochondrial Eve, to be exact. Many people's concept of the relative sizes of the continents and countries is distorted thanks to a familiar version of a world map known as what? Maddie. The Americano map? Sorry, no. Patterson. Anyone? It's the Mercator projection. Here's some math for you. Give me the net change in the population density given this data. Immigration equals 30, mortality equals 200, emigration equals 100, and natality equals 100. What's the net change? Anyone? It is negative 170. In 1979, the geologist Walter Alvarez found, it, it found a reddish-gray layer of clay less than an inch thick in the Apennines. His father, the Nobel Prize-winning physicist Luis Alvarez, showed that the layer contained what heavy metal usually found in high concentrations in meteorites? Emily, Amelia. Iron. That's incorrect. Patterson? Anyone? It is iridium. You walk into the Notre Dame Cathedral for the first time in your life, but you have the extraordinary feeling you've been there before. This feeling is expressed in what French? Uh, Amelia. Deja vu. That's right. Identify the Sinclair Lewis novel. Being a man given to oratory and high principles, he enjoyed the sound of his own vocabulary and the warmth of his own virtue. It was not known whether he enjoyed his sleeping porch because of the fresh air or because it was the standard thing to have a sleeping porch. Anyone? 
That is from Babbitt. Any consumer items such as trading cards, stamps, books, or antique furniture that are accumulated in groups as hobbies or investments are called what? Nathan. Collections. I'll accept that. Collectibles. What fills the central cavities of long bones? Uh, Keegan. Uh, Marrow. That's right. What adjective indicates a base that only partially disassociates, it disassociates in an aqueous solution? It is a weak base. And that is the end of the game. Hanson is our winner today, and they advance to the second round. Patterson goes over to the elimination bracket. Both these teams will be back in a couple of weeks. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you again next time on South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. Good night.